Let's see, Sarah Nicklin. Sarah was my last audition, my very last audition in Springfield, Massachusetts on March 7th, 2009. Um, and what a way to end things. I mean, she was a delight to meet with, um, turned in a great read, and uh, really had some good knowledge of filmmaking process in general. She goes out, she reads for everything. So um, usually when I meet with people, I do a little cyber stuff and check them out. Um, and she really was everything that I expected her to be. She was professional. She was fun. She was cute. She, um, her read was spectacular. And I think that she's really excited to be a part of this. So um, check out Sarah. Tell us what you think. Um, Sarah Nicklin. Okay, um, my name's Sarah. Um, I recently graduated from Emerson College with a double degree in marketing and acting. And uh, right now I'm looking for a job because <laughs> I was smart and decided to graduate the semester early when there are no jobs around. So, not the best decision on my part. <laughs> it's okay. Um, I've been acting in total probably about 10 years. I started off doing stage stuff in school. And then I started doing film probably about five years ago, and I've been working pretty steadily for probably three or so years. So I think I've cre I've forgot my resume, so I don't have it, but I think I'm credited on like 20 productions or something like that. So um, <clears throat> I'm actually just starting to get back into doing stage. Also, I'm doing a play right now. Um, yeah, that's... <laughs> That's what I do. Okay. <laughs> that, that's, 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 I don't have a pet dog named Fifi. You don't have a pet I dog? Don't, no. no. Okay. I have a pet dog named Julie that lives at my parents' house, but not really my dog. Uh, so. <laughs> that's okay. I, I have I have cats if you I, want them. Oh, I love cats. I, I can't stand them. <laughs> I, I inherited them. I, really? Yeah, the girlfriend moved in, brought the cats with her. But, uh, it, you know, yes. I can probably sneak her out if you want them. I, I have a cat, again, at my parents' house. I love him. <laughs> when I have, you know, a place that allows cats, then he'll come. So you're a pretty busy girl, from what I uh -huh. can tell. Because I'll, I'll be, be honest busy. with you, when, whenever anybody that piques my interest, I snoop. Mm -hmm. And I find as much as I can. And you apparently go and <laughs> do every, anything and everything you can get your hands on, it seems. I you, try you to. You go out and read, it sounds like, constantly. I, I try. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> Um, no, that's cool. I, I, I checked out the None of That trailer, and that looks like something I would love. It's hilarious. It's really out there. I mean, it's... Who would have thought that a tiny little town like this would have caused so much trouble? I've watched great men conquer the entire, entire cities. Countries tumble. Plagues wipe out generations. Now, you three fools, you three think that you can stop me? <laughs> fools. <laughs> you, your fight isn't with us. I mean, we haven't done anything to you. I mean, we're sorry that you lost your family and your boyfriend, but, but really, is that any reason to wipe out all of humanity? What do you think you know about my pain? Or my loss? Nothing. I've seen hundreds of years of men. Ignorantly unaware of the joys right under their noses. But I will teach them. When you truly suffer, only then will your eyes be open. Oh, please. Is that how it works? You just say please? For your arrogance, I am going to break your body. I am going to snap your back so that you are no more than a blood fountain for the immortals. I will hang you up for all to come and drink from. You will feel the pain, the shame, and there will be nothing that you can do about it. When I am ready, I will break whatever soul you have left. I will kill your friends right before your eyes, starting with the fat one. Me? <laughs> now look at me. I mean, you don't want to eat me first. I'm definitely more of a main course. So you're pretty fucking tough when you're surrounded by all your goons and we're pinned down to the ground. Do you fancy yourself a warrior?
Do you want to fight? Come on then, try and fight. And when that doesn't save you, you will beg. And your begging will be the shame, will be, and your begging will make your shame that much deeper. Run! <laughs> By all means, try to run if you wish. But you know as well as I, there's nowhere to go. Right on. Um, do you know any jokes? Just <laughs> I know kind of, a couple of random. jokes. All right, throw a joke at me. Would you prefer a long joke or a short, I, short joke? Whatever you think is funny. Okay. Um, <laughs> I can't take credit for this one, but that's uh, it's all right. Funny. Okay, so there's um, it's futuristic. Um, a couple goes to this doctor for uh, penis enlargement because you know they can do that in the future. So <laughs> they go in and, you know, the guy takes out a tray and they're looking like all the different sizes, you know, which one do you want to get? You know, there's bigger ones, long ones, wide ones. And the last one is an elephant trunk. And, and the wife's just like, oh, honey, honey, you can get that one, you know, please, please get that one. And he's like, are you sure? It's like, oh, yes, definitely. And so he gets that one. So then after they have the surgery, they go to um, a fancy dinner with some of their friends. And they're just hanging out and talking, and you know, all of a sudden, the elephant trunk just comes up on the table, and starts feeling around. And the guy sitting next to him goes, oh my god, that's amazing, how are you doing that? And he just keeps, you know, feeling around and grabs back a baked potato, goes back down. The guy's like, wow, that's awesome, I mean, can you do that again? And the guy just goes, well, I don't think so, I don't think I can fit another baked potato up my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Um, for the sake of time, I want to give you an opportunity for your shameless self-promotion or oh, okay. any kind of closing remarks you can talk about. Um, you know, the fact <laughs> that this was completely had no structure whatsoever. Or, no, this, you know, this was whatever. great. So, um, this is one of the more fun auditions I've been on, actually. Because <laughs> it, you know, low stress, not a lot of pressure. Um, shameless self-promotion, I have a website, www.sarahnicklin.com. And also, uh, I have a film premiering um, April 10th, Good Friday, <laughs> at 7 and 9 p.m. at the Columbus Theater. It's called None of That. It's about a vigilante nun that fights the mob. So it should be a lot of fun. <laughs> Absolutely. So. That looks like a lot of fun. Yeah. It's very cool. <laughs>